Today I'm going to go off pattern and try to recreate a beautiful top that I saw from a neat little company called Unlogical Poem. Now I don't often go off pattern, so I'm excited to see what I end up with. Let's get started. I found a simplicity pattern for my pattern stash that I've used before, so I'm really familiar with it. And I'm going to use the top portion of that pattern to kind of approximate and recreate the smock top from Unlogical Poem. I love how their top is black. I want to keep mine black as well. However, I don't have enough black linen. I used most of it for a dress that I made uh, about a year ago. So what I have is white linen and a small amount of black linen. I'm hoping that if I kind of combine the two, that it's gonna be really neat. I'm gonna to try to do black panels in the front, a white back, and then a white tie to use on the sides. I also love how my pattern has buttons down the front. I think that's gonna be an added feature that's gonna make the top extra cute. So now I'm gonna to get to the more boring aspect of the project. I'm gonna iron all the fabric pin everything on, cut it out, then we can get to sewing, and then we can get to wearing. So let's go. So I've cut everything out, I've zigzagged all the edges, linen frays so much it's honestly like having a pet cat sometimes. And tomorrow I plan on putting everything together. Now the one thing I left out is the lace flange, the piece that's going to run along the side of the garment, and honestly the show-stopping aspect of the entire garment. Um, that has not arrived yet. It's supposed to arrive tonight in the mail. Fingers crossed it does, and then tomorrow I can put the whole thing together. Well, the lace trim never arrived, so I had to switch gears. And to be completely honest, I'm not 100% in love with the project right now. Hopefully that will change by the end of everything. Uh, so today I'm going to go ahead and just attach the buttons down the front and the waistband that will double as ties on the side and fingers crossed by the end of everything, I'm gonna love it. We'll find out.
Well, it was absolutely freezing outside, but my daughter and I had fun filming regardless. We actually found a bench in a lake that I was able to jump to without getting wet, which was very fortunate. And that's what you see in some of the footage in the reveal. Now watching it back, it almost looks like a painted backdrop versus an actual natural setting, which I find suiting because I almost feel mildly Shakespearean wearing this. I also feel a little bit puritanical, if that's a word, and a bit nun-like, but I think that's because of the fabric I chose and the styling. So as you recall, I was supposed to get black lace, but it never arrived. I ended up using white linen for the flange here, and I feel like you kind of lose some of the drama because of the white on white action. So um, the lace arrived this morning. I'm gonna remake this project because it was so simple to make and I'm gonna have the black lace here I'm gonna keep the buttons because I think it's a super cute addition to the whole vest concept and then in the back instead of having just the flat back I'm gonna go ahead and really kind of mimic the one that I saw on logical poem make where it has the straps just because it's so reminiscent of an actual apron and I think it makes it that much cuter, that much more special. So it was such a simple project. I intend on doing all different variations on the theme. You can kind of incorporate these into almost any outfit. And uh, like I said, it was simple to make it fun. I love the ties on the side. I'm gonna try to be more mindful of the color choices because you lose some of the details which make it so special. If I can find a black shirt to wear under this one I almost think that it would be better than the white shirt I just don't own a lot of black shirts so you know moving forward when I recreate this it's gonna be all black and I think it'll really pop really stand out and um, it just was such a fun project to do and it's gonna be such a cute addition to my wardrobe so if you hung around for the whole video I just want to thank you uh, if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them below I will do my best to respond I intend on trying to upload a couple times every month. I do work a full-time job and I have a couple kids that I homeschool, so it gets pretty crazy. But um, yeah, those are my intentions. And um, if you want to stick around, feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. It really means a lot to me. Until next time, I hope to see you soon. Bye!